Foster V. Ganpati Bappa, Moria. <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. This is a scary place. Uh, before I start, I think we all have something in common. Neither do you or I know what I'm going to say. But I've prepared a little bit of a speech. I searched for the word icebreaker. And when I found out that in 17th century, during the winters in United Kingdom, they used to send an icebreaker ship in the sea where the water is already ice covered. So they used to send this icebreaker which breaks the ship, which breaks the ice so that the other ship can get to their business. So you can say everybody needs an icebreaker ship to get to the business. Today, in now, like in today's life, icebreaker term is used in socially awkward situations to make it lightweight, people can communicate easily, and they can start a conversation. So, before I freeze in front of you, let me start my Toastmasters journey. So, let's begin from the very beginning. I was born in Germany to a home homemaker mother and a father who is a state government who works in a state government firm and I have a younger brother as every other kid during my childhood days I used to think I can be anything see the confidence I thought I can be anything and most of my influence came from Bollywood movies if I see a movie in which the hero is a police guy I want to be that police guy if I see a movie in which the hero is a doctor want to be that doctor. Then I saw this movie of an Indian invisible superhero, Mr. India. All have seen it? Yes. Yes. You know that in that movie, if you wear the watch, you'll disappear. I used to think if I wear a watch, nobody will see me. And I used to spend hours and hours standing at the corner of my room and thinking nobody see me. My mother was really happy because I was I had stopped bothering her and I was standing right in the corner in front of her actually doing nothing. Then after some years I realized that I can't be everything. So I thought let's be an actor. An actor can be anything that he wants. And in a, in a single lifetime you can <coughs> play different roles. So I started my theatre classes. After playing some five, six supportive roles, I got a chance to play a lead role. This is what my father said that I'm playing a lead role because this was a drama about Chipko movement. You have heard of a Chipko movement? Chipko yes. movement or Andolan was a movement started in 1970, Uttar Pradesh, India, where people came around to save the trees. By, say, by, by what they did is they tried hugging the tree to save the trees. During the play, I was at the center of the stage as a tree and suddenly a kid hugged me and I started dancing. I thought this was it and everybody in the auditorium was laughing only except my teacher. But she was kind enough to keep me in the group and we did few other shows together. I was, I'll say, average or a below average student in studies. The change in me came when my father lost his job. I kept asking my father and I was not able to go to school so I kept asking my father can I go to school tomorrow which he always replied no maybe next Monday. That next Monday came after a long wait of eight months. After those eight months when I rejoined my school, I was hesitant to share my lunch with my friends. I was feeling inferior to sit beside them. And during my recess time, I used to observe things. I started observing things. After so many years when I think for the same thing, I have one thought that people should not observe things when they are upset. Because when you are upset, you observe negative things. Uh, to, to that thought, 
then I studied engineering. Uh, I did my engineering in IT, and then I started working for uh, IBM Delhi. From Delhi to Dubai, I think you'll heard me. You'll you'll hear me in the next speech. Uh, few uh, in January 2016, I got married to a uh, friend come wife uh, and uh, the love of my life. Now she's my friend come wife, and we have a daughter who is one and a half years old, and uh, my daughter. Is the one who inspires me and who teaches me everything, like every small little things that I think that I've missed in my childhood. So those little things, she's inspiring me or she's teaching me every day. At the last, like I started my speech with the nonsense things, but I would like to end it on one single thought: you get inspiration every day, every second you get an inspiration. For that, you just need to keep your eyes open. And ears shut. Over to you, Toastmaster.